What's up guys, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make your very own photo slideshow using Filmora. Let's say you want to make a slideshow because you took a trip recently or you want to make some memories for family and friends or you're in charge of the wedding slideshow for the bride and groom. Now Filmora is an easy to use video editing software that has a ton of effects and music library that can take your photo slideshow to the next level. Now I'm going to use Filmora for this tutorial, so if you want to follow along, you can try yours free by clicking on the link here or the description box below. Alright, let's get started. Okay, now I'm going to show you some ways to make your photo slideshow a little more interesting. So first thing you want to do is bring in any photos or videos that you want to add to your slideshow. You can do that by clicking on import, import media files, and then I'm just going to lasso around the ones I want here, and I'll click on open. So now I have them in my media library, and then I can just grab one and drag and drop it down into the timeline here, and there you go. Now I have all my images in my timeline. So one of the first things I like to do is add a music track. So I can do that by clicking on the music tab. And I've got a couple different options I can choose from here, but I already would know which one I want. And that's under the electronic subgroup and then Living Pulse Midnight Train. That's the song I want to use. I'm going to drag and drop it down to the first audio track. I'm going to resize it by grabbing the end and dragging it into the last photo. So now I've got my images and a song track, but it's just a little too boring for my liking. So one of the first things I like to do is add a black, just a black frame at the beginning and then I like to fade into the first photo. So if I go to media and then click on sample colors, I can bring in a black frame by grabbing it and dragging and dropping it down to the first frame here. So now I have a black frame to start off my video but it just quickly cuts to the first image. I want to uh, use a transition to dissolve into the first image so it just easily shows the first image. So I can do that by selecting transitions and then under the basic subgroup I'll find my dissolve. So again I can just drag and drop that down. I want to add it right on the cut there. So now if I play it back for you, you can see I have a nice little transition to ease into that first photo. So I'm just going to change the duration on the black frame here. I don't want it to be 5 seconds. I'm going to, uh, 3 seconds is good. But one thing I forgot to mention is with the music track, if you double click on it, you can actually change it so the music fades in or fades out. So I'm going to do that to both. And usually I like to go around 2 seconds but it's completely up to you. If you want to make it fade a little longer or a little shorter, you can do that as well. And actually the fade out, I'm going to make it four seconds. Okay, so the next thing I can do, so you notice I have some vertical images here and I've got the black bars on the side. I kind of want to get rid of that. So a cool thing in Filmora is they have a background blur. And you can find that under the Filters tab. So if you click on Filters, and then under Subgroups, click on Background Blur. So you can see there's a few different options. I'm just going to keep it simple and use the Basic Blur. I'm going to drag and drop it down onto the... You can put it on either. You can put it on the Filters or Overlays Track. It doesn't really matter. So I'm going to stretch it out so it's the length. And you can see now... So what this does, I'll give you an example. If you double click on Basic Blur, and then you slide down the background blur level, you can see it's just the same image behind, but it's been enlarged and a blur's been added to it. And the nice thing is the colors kind of match, so you don't have the black bars anymore. So that's why I like to add the background blur. And you have a few other options here if you want to resize it a bit or change the luminance so it's bright or dark, you can do that as well. 
All right, so I fade into my slideshow, I've got music, and I've added a background blur. I added the background blur for the vertical images, but for some of these wider images, I can actually fill the frame. And you can do that by selecting them, and then clicking on Crop and Zoom. And then if you want to make the image fill the entire frame and get rid of the background blur or the black bars entirely, and I know my project is 16 by 9, so I'm going to select 16 by 9, and now you can see on the right here, you can see the image fills the entire frame. And then I can reposition it, so I want the motorcycle to be somewhere in the center, there, and then when I'm happy with it, I just click OK, and now you can see it fills the frame. The vertical videos still have the background blur, but what I can do with the wider images is go through and crop them so they fill the frame, just like that. So I'm just gonna quickly do that to the rest of the wider images. Cool, so the wider images fill the frame and the vertical videos have a background blur. So, so far I'm happy with where we're at. So right now my images are just kinda still, there's no movement to them. So what I can do next is actually add a pan and zoom. For the first image, I'm gonna select it, and then I'm gonna click on Crop and Zoom. And at the top here, you wanna have Pan and Zoom selected. And you can see you have two rectangles. One's the start and one's the end. So for the beginning, I can choose where I want it to start. If I want the start to fill the entire frame, I can drag the edges so it does that, and then reposition it. And then the end, I just gotta select the edge of the end here, and now I can move it around and reposition it. And now I can actually preview it if I hit the play button here. There you go, I like that. So once you're happy with your pan and zoom, you can click on OK, and it'll update right into your timeline. So if I play it back for you, you can see now I have a little pan and zoom. So I'm actually gonna quickly go through and add a pan and zoom to the rest of my images. All right, so the next thing I'm gonna add you may have noticed little motion graphic animations that popped up on the screen. Those are under the Elements tab, so I'm going to add in a couple of those. So I've got a few of my favorites already listed, just so it's easy for me to find them, and I can simply drag and drop them down onto the Picture-in-Picture -picture track. So you can see it gives me that loading icon right at the beginning now. And what you can do, you can actually reposition it wherever you want. And you can resize it by grabbing the edges of the yellow box here. So there we go. So I'll play that back and watch it. Perfect. That's where I want it. And then I'm just going to add in the fireworks. Just to give you another example of some elements that you could add into your photo slideshows. There's a ton of elements that come with Filmora and there's also more that you can purchase on the Filmora FX store. I'm gonna go to the shot of the Great Wall of China here, and I'm just gonna add in some fireworks. And same thing, I can reposition and resize these wherever I want. So I'm gonna put them up in the sky here. If I play that back for you, I'm going to make sure they end on the last frame of the Great Wall of China photo. And now you can see we got some fireworks going off in our photo slideshow. So we're starting to get there. There's still a couple more things we can do. Next thing I'm going to show you is some overlay examples. So I'm going to give you an example of uh, overlay that you could add to your photo slideshow. So I've got this purple flare here. I'm going to drag and drop it down onto this couple in Cambodia. And you can see I got this little light leak happening across the image. So it just makes it a little more interesting. So I'll give you another example. I've got the 8mm frame here. And I'm just going to drag and drop it down onto the Hong Kong shot. And I'll play it back for you. So there you go. I've got some movement on this photo and a little little cool overlay flicker happening. One thing I forgot to mention is you can actually preview what the overlays and filters will look like on your photo slideshow. So if, for example, I want to see what the 8mm frame looks like on the Golden Gate Bridge photo here, I can just double click on it. 
and it'll give me a preview of what it'll look like. So this saves you time from having to drag and drop it down into the timeline and then continuously changing to something else. So the next one we can look at is filters here. So I might choose something like the Instagram like subgroup and I could add this sunflower filter to the Golden Gate Bridge. So that's what you can do with filters. Again, you can play around with those and find ones you like. Another thing you might want to add is transitions. Instead of just having a standard cut where it switches from one image to the next, you can actually go into the transitions tab and choose from all the different transitions that Filmora has. So I'm just going to give you an example of some of my favorites. One of them is under the warp subgroup and then I select zoom. I'm just going to apply an example here. I'm going to use warp zoom 6 between these two images and if I play it back you can see it's kind of a cool effect to get from one photo to the next rather than just your standard cut like this. Instead you could have something like this. So again making your video a little more interesting to watch. So there's a bunch of different transitions to play around with. Test out the transitions, pick the ones you like, it's all up to you. And finally, last, you could add a uh, text on your video. So for example, on this image, we have the travel sets and travel packs on the Filmora effects store. So I've got that in my Filmora. And I'm just gonna go down, and I'm just gonna select Travel Fun Lower Third and put it on the text track for this photo of this guy in Antelope Canyon in Arizona. So to change the text so it doesn't say your lower third, I want to change it to Antelope Canyon. I can double click on the layer in the text track layer here. And then I can just change the text to Antelope Canyon. Hit OK. And if I play it back for you, you can see now I've got a cool little animation text on my photo slideshow. So there you go, for your photo slideshow you can add a background blur if you need to, you can add a music track, you can add elements, overlays, filters, transitions, you can add text, there's so many different options to make your photo slideshow a little more fun for your audience to watch. There you have it, there isn't much to it and Filmora can really spice up your photo slideshow. Let us know in the comments section below what your favorite effect is. And don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.